Hello everybody and welcome back to my home here in East Tennessee. On this very windy day, we're getting some wind from the hurricane and um, for all of you who have been affected by Hurricane Ian, you are in my thoughts and my prayers. Um, I have family in South Carolina, so um, I know it's very difficult to watch hurricanes come towards the East Coast and not know where they're going and how it's going to impact your family. So uh, my thoughts and prayers are with you. Um, as you see, I've got a box and this is from the Orchid Supply Store. This is from my sponsor. Um, I was browsing through the website and saw a cattleya that just made my jaw drop. So I thought, let's go ahead and, and get a cattleya before the winter sets in. So I uh, thought I would just go ahead and unbox this in front of you all. Um, I think, I'm not sure, but I think that there are two cattleyas in here. I saw this cattleya and I thought, oh my gosh, I've got to have that one. He has beautiful, beautiful orchids, not just, not just supplies. Yeah, so um, if you're interested in getting some new plants, uh, He's got some absolutely gorgeous orchids. Okay. Oh, wow. Yes. Very well packed. Very carefully packed. Okay. Here's the first one. Now, he said that these were about a year away from blooming. So there is... Plant one, beautiful, beautiful. Okay, let's get the other one. He said there was a large one and a small one. Oh yeah, oh, I like this one. I like this one a lot. These have been grown in bark. And um, by the way, several of you asked me how mine was doing in bark. Remember I got a limelight cattleya, put one in moss, one in bark. The one in bark decided it did not like bark anymore. It started shriveling up. Yes. So I put him in moss as well. So these are definitely going to be going in moss because obviously that's just how I like and they like. That's, that's the most important thing. It's what the orchid likes, but it's also what makes your life easier. And I have just found that what makes them happy is what makes my life easier. Um, but I've been growing cattleyas in New Zealand sphagnum moss for 20 years and uh, had a lot of success. So these will definitely be going in New Zealand sphagnum moss. And he sent me some spag moss just a few weeks ago. So Ken, I'll be using that for these beautiful cattleyas. And I'm trying to be as careful as I can these have kind of like been shrink wrapped. I mean, you talk about careful packaging. This is careful packaging. So I'm gonna work on that and I will be right back and show you once I get these out of this plastic wrap, what they look like. Okay, and here are my two new Cattleyas. I am so excited. It's just always a good day when you get a new Cattleya. So these have been um, grown in this one is in fir bark, and I see some New Zealand sphagnum moss in there, which is good. And then here is some orchiata bark with some New Zealand sphagnum moss. So those are going to really do nicely in the moss because they're used to it. Um, let me show you what these are. This is Potanera, Dick Smith, Dark Beauty, Dark Splash. Um, if you all want to see the bloom on this thing, you have got to get on the Orchid Supply Store's website. Bring up their Cattleya Orchids. They have a category, Orchids, and bring this one up. It is, I mean, it is jaw-droppingly beautiful. So I know that these are about a year away from blooming. Um, this larger one, um, who knows? It might bloom in the spring. Um, when I got Gloriana, my lawless Gloriana, 
Um, she was no bigger than this. As a matter of fact, I don't think that she was that size when I brought her home. And of course he said, this is a small one. So it's going to be, I don't know. I, I like, I like small orchids and watching them, you know, grow like Lawless Gloriana into their own zip code. So um, this is great. I get two of these gorgeous Cattleyas. I just can't believe uh, these are in beautiful shape. So what I'll be doing with these is um, I'm going to be cleaning them up. I use my soapy solution uh, that I shared with you all a few months ago. I, I clean them with that solution regularly anyway, and especially a new uh, purchase or a new acquisition. I really like to clean them up uh, before I do anything else with them. I'm going to be repotting them probably tomorrow. I'll be getting the pots ready today to see what size pot I'm going to put them in. It looks like this size is going to be a good size to put them back in. Um, I can already tell these roots are in really, really good shape. So wow, getting a Catlia with good roots, that is a blessing. So Ken, these are beautiful. Thank you so much. What's really funny is when I was taking them out of the plastic wrap, there was a little tiny fat black spider, you know, the good kind, the one that, you know, he's a predator. He eats all of the bad things, you know, that can get on your orchids. He jumped out at me and I am so used to having those little, little black fat spiders in my grow room. Um, I have some that have made homes out of different places in the sunroom and they really do help keep the pest population down. So I'm very, very grateful to see that I got a little black spider. He was right in here. This was his home. So um, yes, a Georgia spider comes to East Tennessee. I bet he's thinking, my goodness, that was a long trip. So I thought that was really cute. But I can't wait to get these in new homes. And um, I can't wait to see these bloom because these are absolutely gorgeous plants. So Ken, thank you again. These are going to make awesome additions to my orchid collection. And um, I'm just really excited about getting these. And as you can see, these are unifoliates. They only have one leaf per cane. It's kind of like Volcano Queen, Sharon. So yes, I have another unifoliate Cattleya. So um, these are going to make a great addition. Can you tell I'm excited? I've been growing orchids for a long time, and so when something shows up on a computer screen and my jaw drops, then I know that I probably need that orchid. So I was so impressed by the beauty of the blooms on this one. So we're going to see how long it takes them to bloom. I bet you that this one is going to bloom in the spring. That is just kind of my feeling. I have a feeling this is going to maybe take another year or so, but you never know. They always have a way of surprising you, don't they? And thank you so much for watching me unbox my new Cattleyas. I was just, like I said, I keep using the word excited, but when you get a new Cattleya, it is. It's an exciting thing. So I hope that you all are having a wonderful day. Thank you all so much. Uh, you all are my orchid family. We all speak the language of orchids. And before I end the video, I'd love to say the blessing over you, your families, and your plants. The Lord bless you and keep you. Make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. May the Lord turn his face toward you and give you and your families his peace. You all make it a great day. We'll talk to you next time.